Miata's at the Gap started in 1997. This is the 27th running of this infamous event. It's held at Tail of the Dragon, which is a legendary 11 mile road with 318 curves. But also, I don't know what the heck I'm talking about because I've never been. But like flying me out of summer camp, I have to go at least once before I become something of an expert. Apparently something like 1500 Miata showed up last year. And so basically I had a lot of FOMO and decided to code this year. So with big events like this, there's often two questions people are wondering. One, what should I know ahead of time, I guess. Uh, and honestly, I don't know the answer to that, but by the end of this video, we will both know the answer. And two, what should I bring? All right, all packed, ready to go. Now that I think about it, we probably should have shown what to bring before loading the car. Rewind. Yeah, you know, that makes sense. All right, all yours to explain. <laughs> okay, great. So Miata's at the Gap has a website, um, including an FAQ page, which is where they have kind of listed of what to bring. Um, so I'll tell you in just a second here. Um, but there's also, you know, Facebook. If you're on Facebook, there's a lot of, I mean, far too many, honestly, Miata groups. A lot of them have recommendations and there's even a Miata's at the Gap community on Facebook. A lot of great stuff there, but I will tell you what's on Miata's at the Gap official packing list recommendation. Folding or camp chair, sunscreen, bug spray, towel, umbrella, jacket, because it can get chilly at night, I guess, especially since this is in the mountains, technically, comfy shoes, FRS or GMRS radio, most people use channel five to communicate, beer or wine for the Saturday night beer swap and wine tasting, cash, if Fontana has an ATM, but it can be depleted quickly, hat, obviously I have that covered, uh, water, camera, Again, always covered. GoPro or other cameras and video cameras, heck yeah. And then EpiPen or other medications. Honestly, I always keep ibuprofen in my glove box. And then my additions to that list, I guess you could call it my extended checklist, includes tools, because I just did a bunch of stuff in my car and what if I break down? <laughs> uh, detailing supplies from my friend Billy. Cocoa pillow for good luck. She got me a good trophy uh, at flying me out of summer camp. Drone obviously. And light fixtures? Yeah, light fixtures for my parents. Uh, apparently I can't cross Kansas without bringing hand-me-downs from my house to someone, so that's on the list. So let's go to Miata's at the Gap and see just what the heck a Gap is. Uh, you've all seen my epic road trip series out east. If you haven't, I implore you to check it out. But as to not bore you with the Midwest again, I'm just going to give you a bird's eye overview to take us to the Smoky Mountains. Let's go. Well, I was going to show you guys the entire Midwest from stunning drone perspectives. Trust me, I had some of the best footage of all time. And then I crashed it. So I do apologize. The drone is somewhere in the jungle that is the luscious, tree-filled, bush-filled, landscape of Tennessee. Right, so we made it 1,500 miles. Nothing broke, not yet anyways. We made it to Miata's at the Gap. I've never felt so not special in my life. Usually you drive around town and you're like, cool, look at my Miata. And here it's like, well, I'm one of like 1,500 Miatas. Don't know how many are gonna show up, but last year is somewhere between 12 and 1,500 Miatas slash people. It's hard to keep track, but uh, basically the way this whole thing works, as far as I know, I'm kind of learning this whole weekend as I go, but it's a lot of things a la carte, like pick and choose from various cruises that are happening. There's NC and B and A and D cruises, meets as a group photo on Saturday, which is tomorrow. There's various lunch runs and beer runs and vendor alleys happening the whole main two days that are happening. So Flying Miata and Moss and Fab9, a bunch of other guys are all there with showing off their new parts, things they've had, things that are developing. And uh, yeah, but we made it. We made it to the Smoky Mountains. I was wondering, first of all, what is a gap? Because Miata's at the gap. I think we'll find the gap a little bit later. And then I also wanted to know why it's called the Smoky Mountains. 
Well, I can kind of see behind you, Christian, <laughs> the mountains, they're not on fire. It's not like the smoke in my mountains back home where it's like, oh, just another <laughs> forest fire. This is just clouds. <laughs> Low hanging. Low hanging clouds. It's humid. I can like swallow the air. You love it. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I really do enjoy the heat and humidity. But yeah, join us for the day. We don't know what to expect. We're just going to enjoy it, try to relay what's happening, and just look at some sweet Miatas. So welcome to the Moss Miata tent. We've got Brandon here, and Jeff is going to look at something. But hey, this, is, this is Jeff from Moss Miata. These are why a lot of people they get drawn in by these little globe things here, and then they see the socks and they buy those instead. But uh, can you explain what we're doing with these knobs this weekend? Yeah. So uh, we already sold out of our Delrin knobs, which we had a hundred of, so those sold out really quick. We have these special made. <laughs> I need a pit bike. Those are so cool. <laughs> they are. We had these special made uh, for the event as well. There was only 10. We donated number one uh, for the charity auction. And what we're doing is we're doing a lottery for tomorrow. Uh, 3.30, we're going to pull names for the opportunity to purchase one of these nine. It's going to be super fun. Yeah, they're really cool and each one's like actually unique. It's not like a thing off of a factory shelf. Another vendor for Vendor Alley, got Josh from JSpec. Besides having the coolest shirt here, what else do you make? <laughs> yeah, so uh, we make uh, parts for Miatas, mostly NV, NVs and NAs. Uh, we're also working on future generations, but currently we make splitters, uh, side skirts, wiper panels, uh, and door cards uh, for the Miatas. That's Check awesome. Yeah, these are made out of some sort of uh, aluminum composite. Yep, it's at a... Uh, Aluma poly, so it's a polymer center with aluminum sheets on the top and the bottom, uh, made to withstand exterior uh, or be outside, so it holds up really well over the years in outside conditions. That's awesome. I mean, it's cool to have it something to actually look cool and be functional. So, props to you for doing both. Thank some you. people choose one or the other, but this is this is pretty sweet. Yeah, hopefully you get some NC stuff at some point. That's, that's right. That's my We're crowd. On. On. <laughs> nice. I believe someone brought a sob. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing to bring to this kind of, <laughs> at least it's a convertible. <laughs> this shift knob is goals. Oh, you like that? That's perfection. <laughs> We like to see some of the non-Miatas that show up here. Like this one identifies as a Miata. I kind of like it, ambiguous. If anyone in the comments knows what would go right there on the hood or what this is, that's sweet. Absolutely awesome. This is another Canadian car with the flag on the roof. Come on. <laughs> This is kind of the end of Tale of the Dragon, or the start, depending on which way you look at it. But there's a dragon statue, dragon kill boy area. A million things you can buy as a tourist, you know, stickers, photos, knickknacks, and doodads and things. Um, there's a Tesla charging station and a J1772 wall box. 
I do wonder if they work. Um, but yeah, just uh, finished cruising the dragon a little bit. Going to head down and see if there's a yellow Miata meet, which I see some yellow Miatas here, but supposedly there's yellow, I'm, no, I don't have a yellow Miata, but I'm just really curious. So we'll see what it looks like. There's just so many random things happening and I don't even know if they're all gonna show up. So we'll find out. Made it down to the dam. And look at that. It's like that Coldplay song was written about this moment. It was all yellow. <laughs> we go there's just Miatas. <laughs> this is clever clever that's one thing it's trying to figure out who has food here and who doesn't <laughs> should have brought a little so have... next time we're bringing a little grill yeah and a tailgate anywhere. in the Miata yeah that's right, right every time we every time we park brats on the grill <laughs> chicken, chicken steak oh this is a new color too yeah I saw one another one back there and here's the 25th anniversary from 2014 so it has a special seat color it was the only NC that ever came with a blacked out A pillar. Hmm. This is beautiful. Number 974. I don't know how many they've made. More than my car, so not quite as rare, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but this looks bone stock, like just absolutely clean. I think I should hold on to my phone really tight. Yeah, probably. <laughs> this is very far away from you, so wild. I crash drones, not phones. <laughs> Dude, I wish I had a boat right now. And all the people would joke, oh, you have the boat. You have the big fat uh, <laughs> Yeah. You have the boat. Not Tweety. <laughs> All right, got my graphic put on by Brandon, so I'm repping Moss pretty yeah, hard here. I noticed that. <laughs> this is Steve here. Steve, say hi. And uh, how many years have you been coming? This is my 22nd year. That is amazing. Yeah, it is amazing. When I think how many times I've been here and uh, how much gas I've used <laughs> and the great times. And then there were a couple of times when like a guy ran into my car one year. Oh, wow. Um, so you've seen a lot of things happen out here. I have. And I've, <laughs> and, I, and I've seen it from when it was 150 Miatas. And we thought that was a big deal. Yeah. And now I keep hearing the figure a thousand. I don't know if it's a thousand, but I heard a thousand a plus last year. Yeah. 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 And I wanted to make the point you came all this way. Well, from Atlanta. So it's not all your house crunchy, but still a good road trip. Right. And you came regardless of the fact that you don't actually have a Miata right now, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is embarrassing. No, um, it's, it's fine. I've had three Miatas. Yeah. All of them Laguna Blue. Beautiful. Um, Amazing color. I love the color. But, uh, you know, things happen and things got changed around. And uh, I have a family and now we have grandchildren. And so... Uh, for a, a while, I, I didn't have any fun cars. Yeah. And then three or four years ago, I bought this Mini Cooper. Yep. Which is a lot of fun. Yep. We get in trouble here. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, but yeah. it's not a Miata. Yeah. It's a little faster than a Miata. Handles really well. Not quite the same as a Miata. It is nimble, but it is front wheel drive, so it's a little different dynamic. It is. Yeah. And you, you kind of have to get used to that. Yeah. Uh, it's got a great stereo system. It's a little more comfortable. Yep. Uh, now that I'm getting a, getting a bit older. <laughs> Excuse me. But uh, no, I'm missing the Miata, and I'm looking for one I can steal. Yeah. If no, if had you not brought it up. I wonder if this is the place where you can just buy a Miata because. 
at least some of these people are thinking, you know, for the right price, I'd let it go. Well, I saw one this morning with a for sale. Oh, really? So it is It is a place you could buy and sell. I think if you come to where there are a thousand cars, someone someone wants to sell. Well, there's enough parts right up here in Vendor Alley. You could just build one. Right, right. Well, it's great to run into you, Steve. I'm really great to see you out here. Hope to see you maybe next year in the year. Maybe in a Miata, too. Maybe I'll come out to Colorado. I have friends out there. It's a gorgeous place to live. And I just want to let you know again <laughs> that I've been watching your videos for several years. Oh, thanks so much. And uh, thoroughly enjoyed them. I've learned a lot. That's great. And now I want one. Yeah. So when this shuts down, maybe <laughs> we could talk price. Okay. <laughs> God bless. Literally in CV out of truck. This is wild. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, NC is always the answer. All right, it's quiet, and by quiet I mean still kind of loud, but a lot of cars are out cruising, which you do when you're surrounded by these roads. Mm -hmm. But um, welcome to the fine Miata booth that is at Miata's at the Gap. One of many booths out here, this is Vendor Alley, yep. which is pretty cool. And oh, this is just, I love this thing right here. But yes. uh, tell us a little bit about what's going on in your booth. So yeah, basically we brought, up, brought out a bunch of shiny things to show off to people. So we've got uh, three cars, ND, NC, NB, and occasionally an NA that's currently out being driven. <laughs> um, and just a bunch, like kind of a cross section of the catalog along with some new stuff. Um, shock tower brace over there, power steering delete kit over there, new turbo manifold for the NA and NB, and our new NC turbo kit uh, that we drove out here. Which looks phenomenal. I'm so excited about this. So how do you feel about it so far? Uh, I'm, I'm very <laughs> excited about it. So 1,600 miles in the car. We put about 100 miles on it before we left Junction. Got it done kind of just Make in sure time. Make sure it runs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so we're still not done. There's stuff that, you know, we're, we're going to change this this goofy hose. Mm -hmm. We're going to make that a much cleaner routing. And we're going to make sure, you know, we, we've got a heat shield here uh, to hopefully keep everything uh, maybe not cool, but yeah. within reasonable temperatures, but we're also going to test it and make sure that it is actually good and make sure that our, our hope is actually reality. And if it's not, we'll kind of reapproach. So anyway, yeah, well, it survived the heat that was out here, or it, getting out here, because I drove through a lot of that too. It's yes. a little, little bit hot out there, but uh, yeah, a million products, obviously all yeah. available on Find Me Out's website yep. and catalog. And uh, this is a great place to come see some of them in person on the car, some of them hanging from cool displays, yeah. which is, yeah, never seen coilovers quite like this, but <laughs> <laughs> love it. And uh, this is Ron Burgundy. So this is Ron Burgundy, yes, in all of his glory. <laughs> so this is kind of a new build that they've been working on, a new build series on YouTube, episode by episode being built up. It was essentially stock, yep. and now it's basically far from stock mm -hmm. and far better simultaneously. I mean, that's certainly our opinion of it. Yeah. <laughs> what was kind of the, the meaning of this car? Just a bottom ground up build with all the stuff you have nowadays available? Yeah, yeah, Maybe. basically. So this is this is catalog. This is nothing fancy. Uh, you can buy all this stuff except for this. But fast forward a month <laughs> or two for those of you watching in the future. And you can buy that as well. Um, but basically catalog build to kind of showcase what you can do with an NB fairly normal stuff. This is all off the shelf. It's not custom stuff. It's not wildly complicated to install. Um, and you can kind of follow along with how we do stuff. Nice. So. Yeah. It's great. It's a good booth. There's a billion other booths. I'll probably walk through some of the other ones. But yeah. thanks for the quick tour and uh, stay cool out there. It's finally starting to... <laughs> it is warming up now. It's it was... more humid than where we're from. <laughs> it is. It's very <laughs> soggy out here. I, I was talking to Kevin at, at Exomotive over here. I, I don't know why I have to drink so much water because I feel like osmosis. I should just be absorbing it yeah. all and be fully hydrated. Yeah, so. I'm just swallowing the air right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's all you have to do out here. <laughs> Tip number 927. The food at Wildwood Grill is actually pretty darn good. Oh my goodness. I had, for some reason, low expectations, maybe because I've had other resorts with bad food, but Cat country cabin resource. <laughs> yeah. Even though this is kind of in the middle of nowhere, it's not the only choice, it doesn't mean they half ass anything. Like, really good pulled pork sandwich. Great wrap last night. You had a burger, you had oh, Reuben. Mm hmm. The burger was amazing. And it's all good. So, and pro tip go before the rush. <laughs> Everyone else is out cruising at the fall still. So, gonna head out for a sunset cruise, catch the lookout. But man, what would Miata's at the Gap be without? getting some jack stands. <laughs> Thank you.
get to the top and much to our chagrin, uh, no one really had the same idea. Well, a couple people. So we're just chilling with some of the people at the lookout, watching the sunset. I mean, can't get much better than this. These views, these views, we're essentially at the pass. Ghosty right there, chilling. Everyone admiring the NC life or judging it, I'm not sure which. And just watching cars fly by. Gloucester, Jeff. Go in from this side. Go in farther over. Nice Porsche. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Unreal. This is kind of the pull off. Of course, I'm parking my boat right by the boat ramp. This is the pull off right before we go up one of the main roads. Tail of the dragon somewhere over there, but this is gorgeous. That's cool. No special effects. Lights shining through fog onto water up through fog again. Gorgeous river. I think it's the Tennessee River or something. I'm not really positive on the geography in this area, but wow. What a wild day. It felt like three days because um, there's so many cruises happening. There's just so much happening at Miata's at the Gap. Uh, I'm really glad they have some sort of schedule because there's a lot of things that are actually coordinated and led by people and meet this place at this time. But there's also so many random various things. Like tonight, me and Christian just decided we're going to go up to the lookout and see sunset. So did a bunch of other people. No one planned it. It just happened. There's so many Miatas that if any given thing decides to happen, others will probably be there or join in or something. So really cool to see all these people. Everyone's just having a good time. Genuinely, no one's having a bad day except for Dennis and uh, someone else we met also that got tickets. The, the police are out here. So honestly, just drive at your own risk, um, but please be safe. But fortunately, no tickets in our department. And wow, I can swallow the air. It's so humid. I'm kind of beyond re <laughs> repair at this point. I need like three showers per day, but it's awesome. So tomorrow is another big day full of things such as the group photo, the NC cruise, the NC meet, a lot of things are happening supposedly. So we're going to see what that's all about. I'm just going to enjoy the sunset by the water. See you tomorrow.